And now we want to show you how to add links to a wiki page. There are a couple of different ways to do it. Uh, let's say that you want to add a link to an existing wiki page. So here we're looking at the list of wiki pages on the wiki page page. And you notice if you click on any of those and then look up in your URL address bar at the top of your browser, you'll actually see the page name at the very end of the URL. And if you want to link to that, you should copy that page name. I'll show you a different one here. This is part of the 2007 conference pages. So if you want to link to these pages, you would copy that or just remember that because that is information you'll need to have to be able to add a link to an existing page. So I'm going to show starting a new page and adding some links. So creating a new page and uh, let's just have a link here to an first another page on the site and let's link to uh, the trial page simply because it's there and it has a nice short name and it's very easy for me to remember which I need to do so I'm just typing the sentence as I want it to be and then I'll show you adding the code so to add a link go back to just before where you want the link to be if it's a link to a page add three open three open brackets, put the little uh, hyphen there between the page names and then add the words you want to show in the link after you add this little spacer, uh, spacer line in the middle and then with three closed brackets after that and you'll see in fact here you have your link. Click on it and lo and behold it does take you back to the trial page. I'm going to go ahead and edit this page again and show you how to create a link to an external website and again using the what's called the wiki syntax slightly different where internal web pages take three open brackets and three closed brackets to d indicate a page for external websites, it's actually only one open and one closed bracket. So let me put the open bracket, and if I wanted to open in a new web page, I just add an asterisk. Now I'm going to go ahead and add an external website. We'll put Ask Jeeves in there just for the heck of it. This doesn't require a line, a spacer line, uh, as the other one did. Just add the words you want to be in the uh, underlined and we'll we'll see here what it provides once you save the page uh, you know sometimes when you click save and continue it doesn't do it properly I almost always click save so saving the page and now let's take a look in fact there it is click on this and it opens a new page at ask G. see there's our old page there's our new page tab this is uh, you're looking at Firefox, but it will be similar in the new Internet Explorer 7. And now let's edit the page again and show you how to use simply the, uh, the wizards to do this. The wizards make it just a little bit easier. So the wizards are up there. Add URL link, URL link wizard, page link, and page link wizard to the right of that. Here we want to use the page link wizard. The page name, so again, you've got to remember it, start typing it in, but once you do, it'll pop up below that pages that match, and then under that you type in the text that you want to have underlined, could be anything, and then click insert code, and then you'll notice there it is, all of the code already done for you, a little bit easier. Now let's do it for the external website as well. I will copy first the website URL, so I don't have to do that again. Delete that, go to the, uh, actually go to the URL link wizard right there, external URL, click that, paste in the website address, add the text that we want to be showing, 
that's underlined. And again, if we want it to be open in another window, click the Open a New Window box. And there you see it's been added in. We'll add a little space at the end of it. And click Save. And now we'll see that the links are there just as they were before. 